good. The first prayer point is the family health. When, the fam when sickness is in the family, the, me the family cannot be able to rule. They cannot be able to have dominion. Begin to cry out concerning this word over our families, the families of the body of Christ, the families of members of JPC, that God will take away. Wherever there is sickness in our family, wherever there is sickness in the family of our relative, our loved ones, God says I will take it away. Begin to pray. Yes, our daddy and our father, we are lifting our families before the altar. And we are crying concerning your word, O oh Lord. Papa, there are so many families eh, that sicknesses are ruling and reigning. There are so many families eh, that sickness are dominating, O oh Lord. And so our God and our Father, we stand by the authority of your word to cry out concerning our family health. Lord, you made a promise eh, that you are going to remove, oh, that you are going to take away sicknesses, O oh Lord. Oh that none of Egyptian disease shall be placed in our family. Papa, we invoke the power and the anointing of this word, O oh Lord, oh, inside our families. Lord, we are crying. Lord, let your hand of healing be released into the families. Lord, that are sick, O oh Lord, by whatever name of the sickness, O oh Lord, oh, Father, take it away. Father, take it away. 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 Begin to buy spirit of sickness and infirmity, ravaging lives oh, in our homes, oh, ravaging lives oh, in the body of Christ. Eh. Yes, our daddy and our father, we stand by the covenant of your word oh, to come against spirit of infirmity, spirit of sickness, eh. are they spiritual, are they physical, we war against you. Are there marital sickness? Are there financial sickness? Are there career sickness? We come against you in the name of Jesus. We command your spirit to be arrested out of our families. We chase you out of our families. We chase you out of our families. You will not rule and reign in our families. You will not have dominion of our families. Your spirit of sickness, your infirmity We resist you by the word of God. We resist you by the word of God. It is written that God will take away all sicknesses away from our families, away from the body of Christ, away from our lives. And so we war against you. We raise the sword of God against you. We cut you off. We cut you off. Whatever name you answer, we come by the name that is above every name to command you right now that you burn you sicknesses, you infirmity, you disease. Hear the word of the Lord. You are a name. Jesus calls you infirmity and disease. We command you bow right now at the mention of the name of Jesus. We command you bow. 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 Randa randa ha. Raka teke ha. Reyanda randa randa ha. Mayanda randa ha. Makuse kete. Rendanda rekalaba. Alaya, mayanda ndara, aleke tele kutele yanda ha, mayanda ndara nda ha, raka teka ha, mayela ndanda randa ha. Command you be arrested. Command you emotional sickness, mental sickness. Command you be arrested out of our families, out of our families, out of our families, out of our families. In the name of Jesus. Another area. Things that are happening in our families. Poverty and lack are ruling and reigning. Having dominion. Follow me to First Chronicles 29. We are going to deal with financial family. We are going to pray for our family finances. Are you in First Chronicles 129? 12 says, both riches and honor come from God. You reign over all. In your hands are power and might. In your hands it is to make great and to give strength to all. And also we know in the Deuteronomy 8, 18, it says it is God that gives power. Is it in your Bible? Begin to war against whatever financial attack, financial lack in our families. Begin to war against them. Whatever that is Bringing lack, and we're talking about finance, family finances. Begin to pray against enemies of family finances. 
begin to pray. That is one of the things that makes us to backslide, to compromise, to sin against God, to cut corner. That is what is making believers to draw back in serving God. War against whatever the power, attacking our family finances. Yes, our daddy and our father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, both riches and honor come from you, Lord. And you are the one that give it power to make way to Lord. And it is your pleasure when we prosper. And so our God and our Father, we wage war. Every power, every attack against family finances, oh Lord. Let that power be broken. Let that power be destroyed. Whatever they are that are bringing lack inside our families, that are bringing poverty inside our families. By the name that is above every name, let that power be destroyed. 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 We war against spirit of lack. We war against spirit of want in our families. In the name that is above every name. Randanda Rakaha, Rayalaba, Mandanda Ra, Masekete. Reyandanda ha, rakata kalabasunda, rabalanda ha, rekata ya labale kanda, mayandanda randanda yanda, makuseke tere kanda. Begin to pray for financial breakthrough. Let God release financial breakthrough. Lord, the old investment that we are entering, let them begin to prosper. Let God bring breakthrough, financial breakthroughs in our families. When family when family prospers financially, the church will also prosper financially. Begin to cry out for financial breakthrough. Rakayandanda ha, mayanda ha. Yes, our God and our Father, we are lifting our families before the altar, the body of Christ, O oh Lord. Crying for financial breakthrough, Lord. Crying, O oh Lord. Oh, the investment of your people. Lord, lay your hand that they prosper. Lord, lay your hand that you prosper. Our God and our Father, Rakandanda, Raya la Balaba, Masekenda, Rekata Kurianda, Mayenda, Rakata, Mayele Kete Rekele, Kandanda Randa, Rakata Kuri Kalanda. We pray in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray for family protection. When family are not protected, every other thing will not kill India. There's a, something that I read that troubled my heart. And also, that person also lacks wisdom. Uh, what do they call it? Those people that are, uh, uh, they put a toilet and whatever. What's the name now? Plumber. A plumber was hired somewhere to come and do work by 1 a.m. Hello? 1 a.m. So his body was now found this morning. They collected everything inside him. Meaning that he didn't use, there's no wisdom. 1 a.m. in the night. How can you fix something in the night? Is it not poverty and lack of wisdom? So we are going to stand on the Bible. Follow me again to Psalm 121. Psalm 121, 8 says, The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Begin to pray for families that God will continue to protect, to preserve, to keep our families as they are going out, that God will be there with them. And also as you are praying there, whatever decision they are going to take, whatever thing, let God direct them. Let the Spirit of God help our families. Begin to pray. Yes, our daddy and our father, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we are crying because we are living in the end time, in the wicked world. Evil are increasing on daily basis, oh Lord. There is no place that is safe outside you, Lord. And so, Papa, we are lifting our families, all our loved ones' families, the families of Jesus, our Christian ministry, crying, oh Lord, as your people are going out, may you preserve us as we are moving up and down, oh Lord. 
in the marketplace, O Lord, looking for what to eat, O Lord. Let your hand of protection be all over and around us, O Lord. Lay your wall of protection over and around us. May we be delivered from the evil ones, O Lord. May we be delivered from the enemies of our souls, O Lord. Our daddy and our father, may you preserve our families, preserve their going out, preserve their coming in, no matter where they are, whether in the office, that they be protected, O Lord, whether in the business, that you will be all over and around them, whether in school, whether at home, whether in the mission, whether on the journey, Father, we are crying, O Lord, that our family shall be protected, shall be preserved by you, that no enemy shall touch our families, that no enemy shall waste our families, that no enemy shall destroy our families. We are asking, O oh Lord, let there be a wall of fire over and around our loved ones' families. Jehovah, King of glory, we are crying, O oh Lord that you protect our family. Oh, Jehovah, we are pleading and calling unto you. Lord, we are pleading and crying that our family be preserved and be kept by your mighty power, by your power, oh Lord, that none shall be wasted, that none shall be destroyed, no matter where they are. Lord, let your hand be upon them. Lord, let your hand be upon our families. May you keep our families. May you protect our families. May you preserve our families eh, from the hand of the evil ones, from the wicked ones, O oh Lord. Oh, deliver our families, O oh Lord. Oh, Father, eh, in all their decisions, O oh Lord, oh, let they be guided by your spirit, O oh Lord. Oh, every plan, O oh, oh Jehovah, be directed by you, Lord. Oh, every trip oh, be guided by you, Lord. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh, Daddy, we are crying and pleading, O oh Lord, oh, that you deliver us from the ones. Lord, as we move up and down, may our legs and the legs of the wicked, may they never meet in the journey of life, so Lord. May we never meet them in the journey of our life, that we and the evil ones, that we and the wicked ones, we never meet in the journey of life, oh Lord. Father, we are crying and asking, oh Lord, that you intervene, Lord, intervene, Lord, intervene, in the name of Jesus. You are able, abundantly able to deliver and to say, Our God is able, abundantly able to deliver. Those who trust in Jesus is able, abundantly able to deliver and to say, Our God is able. Abundantly able to deliver those who trust Him. Open your Bibles to Isaiah 65. We are going to pray for parents in those families and the guidance that are in those families. That man, when he went yesterday, he never knew that this morning the wife will be with the children will be fatherless. Are you there? Isaiah 65. Are you there now? Let's start from 20. It says, There shall be no more than an infant of days, nor an old man that hath filled his days. For the child shall die a hundred years old, but the sinner being an hundred years old shall be a cause. We are going from 21. They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyard and eat fruit thereof. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. For they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, 
and they are, they are offering with them. You are going to cry for the parents in those families. This portion will be their portion. They will not labor for another to come and begin to inhabit. They will not plan for another to go there and begin to drink, begin to cry out that our parents and the guidance in our various homes, that they shall live. They will enjoy their labor. They will enjoy the fruit of their hands. They will not labor for another person like this man. They just wasted the man's life. Yes, our daddy and our father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we are lifting all the parents and all the guidance in our various families, O oh Lord, before the altar, Lord. Father, we invoke the spirit and power behind your word in Isaiah 65, from 21 to 23, to be their portion, O oh Lord. Oh, Lord, they shall build the houses. Eh? They shall live in them, O oh Lord. Oh, they shall plant vineyard eh? and eat the fruit thereof. Oh, they shall not train their children and are not but we hear it, O Lord. Father, they shall build, and another will not inhabit. Lord, they shall eat what they are laboring. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we decree their labors here shall never be in vain. It shall never be in vain. It shall never be in vain. It shall never be in vain. Yes, our God and our Father, we are crying, O Lord. May all our parents, may all our guidance be protected, O Lord. Be preserved, O Lord. Deliver them from the enemies. Deliver them from the wicked ones. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be Begin to pray against every hidden plot, against our parents, against our guardian in our various families. Let the plot of the enemy to cut their life short. Let the plot of the enemy to waste what they have labored for be destroyed. Begin to war. Whatever the imagination, whatever the devices of the enemy, is he using sickness? Is he using kidnappers? Is it using poison? Any means the enemy want to use to remove them before their time. It will never prosper. It will never stand. In the mighty name of Jesus, every hidden plot of the wicked against our parents, against the guidance in our various families, we stand by the name that is above every name to scatter them, O Lord. We scatter them, O Lord. We scatter them, O Lord. We overthrow plans of the wicked. We overthrow imaginations of the enemy against the parents in our families, against the guidance in our families. We stand by the covenant of the word of God that says that no weapon raised against them. It shall never prosper. It shall never prosper. It shall never prosper. Every walk of darkness, whether through incantation, whether through spell, whether through divination, whether through sacrifice, raised anywhere against the parents in our families, against the guidance in our family. We destroy. We destroy. We destroy. We destroy. We destroy. Pray against manipulation. That man was manipulated. Begin to war against manipulation. They used the name of church to manipulate him and killed him. Yes, our daddy and our father. We stand against every form of manipulation. Enemy we want to use uh, against our parents and the families, uh, against the guidance and the families. Uh, we break that power. We overthrow that manipulating power. We command you be destroyed. Be destroyed. Power of manipulation. We break your power. We break that power. We break that power. We break that power. We break that power. In the name of Jesus. Father, we lift all the families far and near, using our immediate families to reach out to them. Lord, let this prayer that we have made, let it be established in their lives. Let it be established in their lives. And let the answers come quickly in the name of Jesus. Father, as we are continuing, O oh Lord, may you continue with us. Lord, we are about to start open the word. Jesus, you are the word. Spirit of God, come and teach us the word and help us to be doers of word in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Be seated. How has been your day? We are still discussing the giants, the seven giants of the promised land. Our 
best is still Deuteronomy 7, 1 through 8. You know it. And it, one of the giants we have been dealing with since February is the giant of spirit of Hittite. And the spirit of Hittite is the spirit of fear. That's what we have been dealing with. And in that spirit of fear, we are checking or going through how to overcome. And we saw that to overcome spirit of fear, we must have perfect, perfect, perfect. Because by, let's go, let's read the scripture. Let's go to 1 John 4, 18. One John four eighteen says there is no fear in love. Dread does not exist, but full grown, complete, perfect love turns fear out of doors and expels every trace of terror. For fear brings with it the thought of punishment, and so he who is afraid has not reached the full maturity of love. That is perfect love. It is not yet grown into love's complete perfection. Praise the Lord. So we discover that to overcome fear, we must carry perfect air. We must have perfect air. And we started by going through that the first love that we must have is that of uh, God. That is why God wants us to love him with everything that is inside our life. And that love of God, as we have gone through, was demonstrated by the love of Christ. By loving Christ, by loving his appearance, they are still under love of God. Now, the second one we have gone through is the love for the word of God. We also say that you cannot claim I love God without loving the word of God. And again, number three is love for the saints. That's where we are. The saints, we've said that they are the Christians, the, re the believers, the redeemed. Under the saints, we've gone through love for your friends. Then again, love for your brother. We are still under subheading. Love for the saints. Your friends, your brother. And last week, we saw that the brother that the Bible is talking about is the household of a... Household of a... Household of a... The believers. Praise the Lord. And today, we are continuing... Under the same love for saint. Today, we are go going to go through love for your family. Family love. Family love is still under love for saints. Because the members of the family, they are among brethren. There are so many scriptures. I will just call all of them. There are so many. Ephesians 5.25. Ephesians 5, 25 to 29. 1 Peter 4, 8. 1 Corinthians 13. 4 to 7. Colossians 3, 14. 1 John 419. Romans 12, 18. 1 John 4, 12. Are you getting it? Titus 2, Verse 4. Titus 2, verse 4. 1 Timothy 5, 8.
Remember, we are going through family love or love for your family. When we are talking about family, what we carry in our mind is the husband, the wife, the children. Then the question is, what is family love? Family love can be described as the bond characterized by affection, by respect, by loyalty, and healthy attachment. Let me go again. It is the bond characterized by affection, respect, loyalty, and healthy attachment. This family love we are talking about is different from all other types of love relationship. It is different from all other love relationship. It can be a healthy relationship between parents and their children. Or we can break it in pieces. It can also be a healthy father-daughter relationship or a healthy mother-son relationship. So that is why it is different from all other. When a father and a daughter, they have a healthy relationship, is there any attachment there? But if it is in the world, there will be attachment. Is it not true? When a mother and a son, there is a healthy relationship between a mother and the son. There is no evil attachment there. That is why it is different from the other. Because if it is the other, there will be attachment. Praise the Lord. The question we need to now start discussing, why is family love or love for your family important? Why is it necessary? Hello? Hello? Are you around? Why is it important? Why is it necessary? Family love or love for your family. Let's talk. Why is it? Why do we need it? Hello. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, why it's important is it doesn't stop there. It runs uh, to next generation. It preserves yes. family lineage. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for that contribution. It doesn't stop with immediate. It continues flowing and flowing and flowing and flowing until Jesus. Another reason why we need it. The way you are looking at me is unconditional love. There is no attachment. There is nothing. It's just it's unconditional love. It is God's type of a... It is God's type of a... And it is also... There is also inside it unconditional support. Is it not true? People are being supported inside their families. Children are being supported by their parents. Parents are being supported by their children without being coerced or forced or compelled to do it. Because this is my... This is my... This is my... Praise the Lord. Another question we also need to... What are the ways... To show love to your family. As parents, as a husband, 
as a wife, the practical ways to show your family that you love them. The practical ways to prove it. The practical ways to show it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey, now, don't raise it like in the cold. Up it up now. Ah. <laughs> uh, you can show it by uh, providing for the family. Provision. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. When you are providing, you are showing your family that you love them. Is it not true? When you are providing, you are telling, you are showing your family that you love. Uh, uh -huh. Practical ways now. Praise practical ways. Yes. Yeah. Uh, one of the practical ways is. You don't abandon them. It's yes. your family. Mm -hmm. No matter the situation. Yeah. You don't change uh, you family. Don't, you don't change family. Mm -hmm. Family is family. Yeah. You stand break uh, what do you Yes. Let me the, this one when there was a place I shared it. They nearly stoned me. Women nearly stoned me that day by eating together. Hello, by eating, there's a place, women nearly stole me, they said it can never happen, how can I eat it, how can I put my hand as a wife together with my husband, hello, I told them that's why you are, you are divorcing on daily basis, they, they said no, it can never happen, you must carry your plate, I carry my plate, by eating, when you are eating together, is all of you are being bonded together. Is it not true? My husband will always add there, you know who is number one, who is number two. Is it not true? Remember we are talking about to overcome fear. When we are eating together, will I plan to kill you? Answer me. When we are eating together, will I put poison there? I don't need to be afraid. But when we are eating separately, putting poison is as easy as ABCD. Uh -huh. Because I know that this is the man's food. I put something and keep it nicely in a, a beautiful plate. Is it not true? Or the man will come and put in a woman's plate. But when you are eating together, there is nothing to, be, to fear. There is nothing you can never be afraid of because we are eating together. And they are also, remember we, talk, we started by saying, respect will be there. You know who is senior and who is a junior. You will not be insulting your senior anyhow. You will respect them. Praise the Lord. Another, to show love. Yes. I believe that if you love your family, you, you make them uh, your priority. You make them your priority. Uh, <laughs> it's not clear. I, I guess Let you me know. get you above God. No, no, no. Ah, mama. <laughs> you said prior, uh, uh, so let me know. Is it above God? No, no. God mm -hmm. is the one that gives you that family uh -huh. and allows you to be alive to even see the family in the very first place. Okay. So I mean, uh, in in whatever capacity, God taking gives care you. of them, exactly. uh -huh. and, providing, and and also the other thing is uh, protecting them. Uh -huh. Whatever the capacity God gives you to defend them, uh -huh. whatever it takes, you go to every length. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yes. Thank you for that. Uh -huh. Ways to show love to our family. Ways. Uh, Prateka. Uh, praise the Lord. Amen. I think the other one is, is, is uh, forgiving. Uh -huh. Forgiving their wrongs. Yes. Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Do we have problems inside the family? Do we quarrel? After quarreling, do I collect my bag and relocate to another city? Do I still come back there? Why is it not happening in the body of Christ? I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. That is hypocrisy. Praise the Lord. 
If I can, no, no matter, because I know, I, I have always seen, there are some parents that cannot even provide. But the children are still living there. Is it not true? I've never seen them, they pack their bags and left because my parents cannot, but they will be there. But when we come to church as our family, we begin to do the other side. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. We are still. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think one of the problems is coming from the church. Mm -hmm. Being that uh, somebody, when, uh, we want members. Yes. We no matter where the person comes from, mm -hmm. you don't want to know. Mm -hmm. What we want, uh, what we want is multiplication of numbers. Yes. You don't want to know what made the person leave the because in the in the world, your child cannot just pack and go to another family and say, "Hey, uh, I'm having a uh, problem with my the family I was coming from." Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't happen. It's impossible. It can never. Even if it comes, to the, uh, even if the child comes there, you will still find a way to take the child what. Back, back to where, where he comes from. Mm -hmm. That child can never be your own. But in the church, mm -hmm. we don't care. We want the uh, numbers. We want uh, as far as uh, you know, he can bring something. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't ask. Praise the Lord. So uh, it's the fault of the church. Probably. So church, have you had it? You must change. Praise the Lord. Another way to show, we're talking about practical issues here. Having time to good time together with your at times you carry them and go out and have good time with them. Hello, you take them out. We are not asking you to go there and kill a cow. You can take them out with one dollar chicken. Is it possible? You interact there, you have fellowship there. And when parents are doing it, there's something that thing does in the life of the children. And at times, there they can be able to ask you certain questions that they cannot ask you because when we are coming back home, we are tired. We are only wanting to go and jump inside blanket. But when you are out, that will give them opportunity to ask certain questions. You are there to clarify certain issues that are bothering their lives. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. Another one, yes, sir. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, another one is um, reading the word of God together mm -hmm. with your family. Yes. Then another one is inviting the Holy Spirit to be the master of the family, the, to be the one in charge of the family. Mm -hmm. That bind that that bring bonding bind, uh, bonding that, that, in the that's, family that's, that's, that bring bonding into a family then another one is uh, yeah praying together also mm -hmm. yeah, because when you are praying together it bring it makes people it makes you and your family to bond together also the another one is uh, um Having something you could do common in, in common, having something you could do in common. You are t we are talking about food. We have spoken about food. You have said about prayer. Mm. You, what again? You said about what? Like um, my time is up. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. We continue there from next week. My time is up. I'm always conscious of time. Let's stand up. Pray and ask God. Is my family out of order or in order? If it is out of order, by your mercy, let there be order in my family. Because love can never be where there is out, a family is out of order. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, we are crying this evening, Lord, concerning our families. Show us the state of our family. Is our family in alignment with you? Lord, if it is not, by your mercy, bring us back. Pull us back where we have abandoned you. Bring us back. Bring us back. Bring us back. In the name of Jesus, we continue next week.